Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you something phenomenal. The super rare Wilcox and Gibbs Model 200 S-Class hat making machine. At one time when everybody wore hats there were hundreds of thousands of these machines. Today there's just a handful left and each one modified to suit the operator. This one's got a unique feature with a, a lifter here rather than the foot control it would have had in the factory. But let me just show you some of the features. The S-Class is denoted by the serial number on the side. It's a much smaller free arm unit. It has so many features it will blow your mind. And, and if you just come in closer I'll just run through a few of the features. The big thing is the adjustable tension on here rather than the automatic tension. You also have, if you look round by the foot here, you have a much larger foot and much larger teeth. Let me just swing this guide out of the way and show you. And if you look down here, you have a slightly modified hook. If you've ever wondered what that groove is for there on, on the Wilcox and Gibbs hook, that's to get your seam ripper in when it jams up. You just get it in there and pull it out. So now we're going to lift the foot up. You've got adjustable foot pressure there. You've got adjustable stitch length there. And this machine does a very, very large stitch, larger than many industrial machines. All of it is adjusted by a 332 Whitworth spanner. If you've ever wondered what size that is and what size that is, that is a 332. Why the New York factory made an old English thread size, who knows? But here we go. We've got adjustments just about everywhere, but what it is really great at is the sewing performance. This one's got a modern bolt-on motor because it's a fully portable unit. And the great thing is you can change that motor whichever country you are in the world, you can change that motor. Now, if I show you, if I show you normal stitching first, this is just normal chain stitch. Now I'm gonna pull the, the little alternating foot back and now you'll see the foot lift up. Now, the foot is lifting up because when the straw boaters were first started, you had a long straw plating, plating and you just turned the first little button right on the top and you were doing really, really tight turns. And they found that if they lifted the foot, you could, the operators could manipulate this tight turn. Often it was damp when they did it. And that's why you have the switch on the tension here. You switch it because this is doing a very tight turn, you get a loose stitch. So they added this, stroke of genius, so you can tighten it up. And as soon as you drop the alternating foot off there, then you can just loosen it back again and adjust it as you would normally adjust it. But here you see this little baby in action. It's super, super silky smooth. And of course you've got the guide there if you want it, you can click that in, let me see, click that in. And you can adjust the guide, obviously narrow, depending on, on what you're doing. Absolutely extraordinary. You can see the stitch here, so we can see a little bit loose there. We can just adjust it there, tiny bit. But you can just, how it feeds the work through is just stunning and how beautiful that is. And there we go, that's the Wilcox and Gibbs Model 200 one of the finest if not the finest hat machine ever made and when did they make it 1880 those victorians they were just wow